Hello. As part of our summary series, we're going to be focusing on the two methods or, or two options, if you will, for Metspec's capnography uh, in regards to their multi-parameter systems. Uh, in front of you, uh, the monitoring display that you see, this is the uh, latest flagship system by, by Vetspecs. This is the SM100 model. I'm going to ask you to focus mostly on this uh, bottom waveform uh, or essentially the fourth channel, uh, if you will. The, uh, the white waveform, of course, is the capnograph. Uh, we're going to have your in-tidal CO2 value, the larger number in, uh, showing is 36. There is a fractional inspired value, which is a bit unique uh, in capnography. Uh, fractional inspired is basically, uh, stands for, um, well, it is, again, fractional inspired, but it is essentially the rebreathing of CO2. And then lastly is your respiratory rate. Now, VetSpecs offers the two different methods or options for capnography uh, for, for specific reasons. Uh, your mainstream CO2 sensor uh, and then your sidestream uh, microflow uh, sensor or module. These two options uh, are available. As VetSpecs has learned over the years that the mainstream sensors are certainly more streamlined. Uh, it's a smaller sensor. Uh, connects right to the trach tube and does all the processing at the source of the trach tube. Uh, but again, they are recommending that this mainstream technology be utilized uh, exclusively for surgical applications. Uh, if it is utilized in dentistry, uh, moisture does uh, tend to take a toll on its performance over time. And so, uh, again, mainstream for uh, surgical. As we go to the microflow side stream option, this is actually utilized, uh, can be utilized both in dentistry and surgically, uh, and, and again, uh, with equal performance. Uh, a little more involvement than the mainstream sensor as far as hookup. Uh, essentially, you're going to have a airway adapter which connects to the trach tube. Uh, there is a six foot, what we refer to as a sample line. Uh, there is a filter involved to filter out moisture. Uh, the uh, sensor uh, and module, if you will, uh, this is able to connect right to the multi-parameter module that uh, comes with the SM100 model. Uh, the module has three ports, uh, one for your SpO2, again, one for your respiration and CO2, and then also one for your ECG and temperature. Uh, for the capnography function, we're gonna be uh, focusing on this middle port. And again, either of these two uh, modules or sensors are able to connect directly to that port. Um, as for uh, uh, use, uh, again, very easy to connect either. Just hook up. The system will automatically give you the, the readings and values. Uh, one of the very nice features behind the capnography options for vet specs is you do have the ability to, to set on the monitor uh, an audible respiratory sound or tone. Uh, as well, you can uh, have on the pulse rate tone. So it is capable of, of doing both tones uh, simultaneously, and of course you do have your alarm settings. Uh, the capnography does have an apnea alarm uh, built in. Uh, we appreciate you joining us today uh, and look forward to uh, having you with us again at some time in the future.